Y'all know the dude that played in Green Mile? And walk in. That big ass brother that was in Green Mile, Michael, Michael uh, Clark Duncan. I got a radio show out in LA. He was my guest this morning. This son is huge. His arm, 23 and a half inches. And so somebody called in on the radio show this morning and got mad at the brother. Tell me, I don't think black people ought to put themselves out there like that. We need more positive role models. Oh, you can spell, can you? Just my name, boss. J O. So I looked at Michael, I said, say, man, sorry about that. So off the air, I said, say, Mike, how much they paying you? It's just between me and you, dog. About 10 million. 10 million? For 4 million, I'll be all the fucking monkey you can stand. I, black people will be so embarrassed by my motherfucking performance, you'll be sitting up there just going, look at this big lip, son of a You ain't got to act like that much of a motherfucking monkey. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. And before I go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far on this channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. This isn't going to be one of my longer videos, but I definitely wanted to take a second to chime in on an old Steve Harvey video that's been recirculating. You know the dude that played in Green Mile? That big ass brother that was in Green Mile, Michael, Michael uh, Clark Duncan. I got a radio show out in LA. He was my guest this morning. This son of bitch is huge. His arms, 23 and a half inches. He on the show this morning. We talking, so during one of the breaks, you know, he about to star in this new movie, Planet of the Apes. They got this movie coming out, and he wanted to star. And so somebody called in on the radio show this morning and got mad at the brother because he playing a monkey in the movie. Tell me, I don't think black people ought to put themselves out there like that. We need more positive role models. You playing a motherfucking gorilla. You know, I felt embarrassed for the brother because I put this motherfucker on the phone, you know. So I looked at Michael, I said, say, man, sorry about that. So off the air, I said, say, Mike, how much they paying you? It's just between me and you, dog. About 10 million. 10 million for 4 million I'll be all the fucking monkey you can stand I black people will be so embarrassed by my motherfucking performance you'll be sitting up there just going look at this big lip son of a you ain't got to act like that much of a motherfucking monkey <laughs> shit off me looking at it be walking around that mother I be digging in my ass motherfucker for 10 million kiss my ass motherfucker I am a monkey and so of course this video resurfaces right on the heels of Cat Williams calling out pretty much the entire industry and in particular Steve Harvey and some of the other members of the Kings of Comedy the same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. And so, of course, Cat Williams is right on the money. Steve Harvey has always been somewhat of a one-trick pony. And his whole stick has been pretty much being as loud as he can be, being as country as he can be, and being as ignorant as he can be. 
and it got to the point where Steve Harvey called him up and wanted to fight. <laughs> Let like, Wait, K Beggs, uh, she was. Survey <laughs> Sam! Uh, so he was in. <laughs> you know, Steve Harvey's like, I'm gonna look at that answer. Uh, <laughs> Survey Sam! Why is this nigga always surprised? Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, like you this. know what they uh, said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that that <laughs> that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Oh that no. Uh, yeah, be like, yeah. He be like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what yeah. your ass say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, your ass. Uh, uh, she, uh, I mean, uh, she was like, she was like, she said, she said. I said, I said the top fruit. Uh, yeah, yeah. She said. Oh, hell no. She said, oh, oh. She was like, ah. I'm just saying, y'all, let's go to the board. I'm going to read that one more goddamn time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, goddamn. Shut the fuck up. What in the uh, hell? Yeah. What the hell? He's no good <laughs> goddamn well. Uh, Steve Harvey. I want to say banana, uh, Steve. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the uh, shit? Oh, oh hell, hell no. Uh, you uh, mean uh, to hell yo hell? She said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, party uh, in the party. Uh, <laughs> so they <it> said. <laughs> 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 the hell was that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to disparage Steve Harvey or anybody who's a one trick pony. Hey, use what you got. But at the same time, if you're doing dirty business, going behind people's backs, going behind people's backs that you went on tour with, individuals which I'm sure considered you a brother, like Bernie Mac, going behind their backs while they're in negotiations to try to get more money with the studio. And you're going behind their backs letting the studios know that you'll do it for cheap. You'll do it for half the price. That's the issue. And that's what Cat Williams was speaking to. How individuals like Steve Harvey will pretty much do anything for money. And in this clip, Steve Harvey's pretty much backing up everything that Cat Williams had to say. But let me know how y'all feel about this one. Go ahead and put it in the comments for me. And make sure you guys hit that like button on your way out. And as usual, peace and chaos.